In this video, I'm going to use the new AI that is built into Google Docs to write a story. So it's probably not gonna be a full-fledged novel, but let's just see what this new tool can come up with. In my last video, I covered the new AI features in Google Docs. If you want to learn how to enable these features, you can check out that video. So I've been playing around with these new features and now I wanna test the limits of Google Docs AI capabilities by using it to write a story. I want to see what we can create just using Google Docs AI. So what I'm going to do is use Google Docs to come up with an idea for a story and then I'm going to write that story with Google Docs AI. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this AI tool to give me some ideas on what I need to write a story. So I'm just gonna select help me write and then I'm gonna ask my question here. What do I need to write a story? And then I'm gonna select create and we will just wait for this to generate. So now this says that I need a few things to write a story. I need a plot, I need characters, I need a setting, a theme, a conflict, and a resolution. So what I'm gonna do now is use this AI tool to generate a few ideas in these areas that I'm gonna to use to write my story. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is using this to write a children's story. So the first thing that I might ask is ideas for a theme of the story. Okay, I'm gonna pause the lesson really quick and let you know about my free course. If you are a beginner at Excel or Google Sheets, I have a free course with the nine most fundamental lessons that you need to master. Click the link in the description of the video to get the course now. So what I'm gonna do is exit out of here and discard this and I need the AI tool to open back up. So I'm just gonna type until it opens. And what I'm gonna do is say, give me 10 ideas for a theme of a children's book. And then we will wait for this to generate. And so now it has 10 ideas for themes of a children's book. So a child's journey to self-discovery, the importance of friendship, the power of imagination, the value of family, the beauty of nature, and a few other ideas. So I'm not gonna go over all of these. We're just gonna pick one to use. I'm going to do the importance of friendship. So that's the one I'm going to use as the theme of my story. So next, maybe we will come up with a few characters. So I'm just gonna exit out of this and let's type in here to come up with some character ideas. So help me write, give me 10 character ideas for a children's book and select create. And so here we have a few ideas, a curious cat who loves to explore, a friendly dog who loves to play fetch, a wise owl who loves to tell stories, and there are a few other ideas. I'm not gonna go over all of these, but since the theme of our book is going to be the importance of friendship, I think a friendly dog who loves to play fetch, that's the one I'm going to end up choosing. So the next thing that I think I wanna do is come up with some ideas for the setting of this story that we are writing. So I'm gonna exit out of this. So now I'm going to ask it for setting ideas. So give me 10 ideas for a fun setting of a children's book. And so here are a few ideas, a magical forest, a faraway planet, a toy store, a circus, a pirate ship, and then some other ideas. I'm going to choose the first one, a magical forest. So I'm just gonna write that down. And then I'm just going to get rid of this. So I think I almost have enough now to get my story created. So the last thing I'm going to do is ask for plot ideas using our character setting and theme that we have already come up with. So what I'm going to do is in here, I'm going to put, give me 10 plot ideas for a story on a friendly dog who loves to play fetch in a magical forest that learns the importance of friendship. And then I'm gonna select create 
And so here it now has 10 plot ideas. So the first one, a dog named Sparky loves to play fetch in a magical forest. One day he gets lost and meets a group of animals who help him find his way home. Along the way, he learns the importance of friendship. Or the second one, a dog named Buddy is always getting into trouble. One day he runs away from home and ends up in a magical forest. There he meets a wise old owl who teaches him the importance of friendship. So I'm not going to read all of these. I think I'm going to choose this second one for my story. So now I'm going to exit out of here. And now we are going to finally ask the Google Docs AI to write our story for us. So what I'm going to do is use this to write my prompt. So write me a children's story with the following plot, character, setting, and theme. And then I'm going to copy and paste my info here. So my plot, character, and then I have my setting and theme. And I'm going to select create and we're just going to see what it comes up with. And here it is. So let's see what it has come up with. So once upon a time, there was a friendly dog named Buddy who loved to play fetch. He was always getting into trouble, though, because he was always chasing after balls and not paying attention to where he was going. One day, Buddy ran away from home and ended up in the magical forest. The forest was full of strange and wonderful creatures and Buddy was scared at first, but then he met a wise old owl who taught him the importance of friendship. The owl told Buddy that he needed to be more careful and pay attention to where he was going. He also told Buddy that it was important to have friends who would help him when he was in trouble. Buddy learned his lesson and he became a much better dog. He made lots of friends in the forest and they all helped each other out. Buddy was happy in the forest and he never wanted to leave. So overall, I think this was not a bad story, but let's see if we can expand this. I'm going to hit the elaborate button and we will see what happens. So it did make the story a little bit longer. I'm not going to read through all this, but let's see if we can actually make this a 10 page story. So under refine, I'm going to type in here, make this story 10 pages long. And let's just see if it can do that. So now it has finished creating the longer version. So let me actually just insert this and let's see how many pages it is. Well, this is only three pages long and I have my font size set up to 18. So this is definitely not a 10 page story. So maybe we actually can't create full scale novels with AI. However, I am pretty happy with the short story that it came up with. I think right now this AI is mostly going to be useful for idea generation. So if you're getting stuck and you want to come up with ideas, this is a fantastic tool. Ultimately, though, I think you should edit it to make the idea your own. And then when it comes to actually writing a story or book, I would not use AI. I think you can use it as a tool, but ultimately you should come up with your own writing style. That's just my two cents. I'm not a writer. I think this tool is pretty cool, though, for ideas. And hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm also going to place a link in the description of the video where you can subscribe to my email newsletter to get free updates and lessons sent straight to your email. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.